At the end of the last episode, our nation was not in a great state. I mean, we were suffering from rebel uprisings, we had to deal with a disloyal vassal, we had low religious unity, as well as low stability, our economy was struggling, and we were lacking in technology uh, due to the fact that we were not able to embrace the renaissance. So many problems that we faced, and uh, you know, quite frankly, things are not better, even though I've been going forward 15 years uh, in between episodes. Now we'll go over why exactly. Um, just before I ended the last episode, we actually gained the last ruler trait, and that is the careful trait. And because of it, I did not go to war in the last 15 years. Now it says right here that this ruler is careful, and then that an AI ruler with the careful trait would overestimate the enemy strength. And now I know I'm not an AI and I could possibly, well, quite probably disregard this. The thing is that I really like to um, take a look at what the AI would do if they had this trait because it shows the intention the developers had when creating this trait. So if an AI would over overestimate the enemy strength by being careful, that would a person would do the same thing, you know, uh, from, from a roleplay perspective. So I felt like I would be overestimating our enemies. But to be fair, I don't even think it's such an uh, overestimation because I could go to war with the Great Horde and I could go to war with the Ilkanate. Now, we have a couple of claims on the Ilkanate, um, which I could have taken. And, you know, we could have taken promises from the Great Horde as well. But other than that, there are not really many places we could go for. Uh, Bulgaria and Serbia, they have often been, uh, Bulgaria, Serbia, as well as the Ven Venetians actually, have been in a coalition against us uh, for quite some time, ever since the Baris joined. They f now have disbanded that coalition, but for a long time that was keeping us in check. Um, also, I don't really want to go after Hungarians and I don't really want to invest more monarch points into this area because this is simply not going to help us when reclaiming the Roman Empire. Um, and you know, Naples is allied to the French, and the Lombards and Genoans, they are very powerful on their own. And that is basically everything I have, except for the HRE, which I also don't want to fight. So, I don't really have many options um, to, to go for, and therefore I decided to simply stay at peace, because all the other enemies are too powerful, especially when we consider that Anatolia is disloyal, and has been the entire time. So, that being said, um, that doesn't mean I did not take any provinces. In fact, we started off with an event that gave us control over Sivas, or basically I had the chance to either renounce my claim, leave things as they are, or take the province. And of course, as a malevolent ruler, um, we took over Sivas in order to show Anatolia who's the boss, uh, which is very nice. And then I also took uh, some provinces by using the threatened war mechanic, so we took Abkhazia from the... Uh, uh, from the Ilkhanate, we took Sofia from uh, Bulgaria, I took uh, Rhodes from Venice, and I took Bosnia as well as Belovo, which is now known as Varast, from uh, Croatia and Austria respectively. So yeah, we've uh, we've pretty much taken, well, we've pretty much established a small foothold, a really not so small foothold in this area, which is going to really help us a lot uh, when taking over the rest of the Balkans, as well as uh, when we want to uh, um, advance into Italy. But uh, now we have the certain problem. Now, you've probably been seeing that the entire time. Our faithful ally Ethiopia is requesting uh, that we come to their aid in the Bari conquest of Degahabur. So the Baris have decided to declare war on our ally. They have called in the Razulids, who are not to be underestimated. This is actually a relatively powerful realm, at least militarily. Um, and Ethiopia does not have any other allies except for us. So if we do not help them, they will fall. That's a fact. Now, I don't know if we can save them, uh, especially considering that we are behind in technology, uh, we have a struggling economy, and we have a disloyal vassal. But we can at least try. Now, a careful ruler, as I said, would not start any, uh, you know, offensive wars that we might lose. But this is not an offensive war, so I think careful doesn't really come into this. However, if we have a look at the malevolent trait, it says right here that an AI ruler with this trait would betray their allies without second thoughts. So, 
I'm not too sure what I should do here. Uh, if we don't help Ethiopia, they're gonna get destroyed and we'll lose a valuable ally in the south of the Bari Sultanate. Uh, it might not ever matter because we're gonna be able to roll over the Baris in, in the next couple of years on our own. It's possible, but maybe they will be extremely strong and we need every ally we have. So I want to know from you guys, should we join in uh, and help Ethiopia or should we decline this offer? Vote yes for accepting and vote no for declining. There's going to be a straw poll card right here popping up in YouTube. Um, and uh, yeah, I want you guys to please participate in this. Now also, I would like you guys to tell me um, what we, what kind of goals our AR has. Alexios Paleologus, he is a fertile bread, so brat. That means, yeah, we don't really know what his stance on policies are. But uh, yeah, that means once again, you guys will have to come up with some ideas on what uh, he's interested in. Now, we also have a new council, as you can see. Uh, it just completely changed, and uh, that's fine. I basically went for uh, councillors that are a little bit easier on the budget, uh, but as you can see, we're still losing quite a lot of money. Uh, I've also uh, managed to, uh, well, fix our stability for one thing, that was uh, helped by the church attendance duty, and I did go for the divine supremacy, which was incredible uh, in helping out uh, our conversion efforts. So we have converted quite a lot of promises. We're still not doing too good uh, in terms of religious unity, but we have most certainly improved. Now it does also help that we have gone for the advancement of the True Religion Act, uh, so that's also going to increase our religious or our missionary strength by 1% at the cost of one national unrest, but I felt like it would fit our ruler uh, quite well since we picked the religious ideas. In any case, uh, once again, there's going to be a straw poll here. I hope you have clicked that and made your voice heard, and also please use the comments and let me know what we should do in the future.